Wait, do I have to be in this? I am in the circle. Do all the troops have to be in the circle? Oh, no, no, no. There we go. All right. So what do we lose? Ooh. He's injured. We lost a couple spec ops. We lost, yeah, we lost one spec ops. We lost, um... This guy can go in there. That's fine. We'll have to get another guy from Tango. We'll move, promote one of these guys into that spot. Just to keep this one full. This might, Tango might be our kind of reserve and kind of push him up. So we'll let that guy kind of heal a little bit. We got one spot there that we need to fill too. And that's basically Echo's our cannon fodder. Of all the guys that we imprisoned and put in. So. Um, Ponza. Or Pazna. Sharpshooter. Yeah. Yeah, we're not going to level them up. I was thinking about just going with the whole group of those snipers. But I kind of want a little bit of a mix. Just in case they get you know some guys roll up on them then they have a little protection of guys that are a little bit better there so okay so we should be good there and anna oh anna was like crazy high anna is a junior lieutenant about ready to hit the next level so her little emblem is crazy and then oh our troops too need to get paid which is 5,000 almost. 4,919 credits. That's getting a little high. But, alright. Let's go... I want to get some of our dudes into Sencha. Oh, let me get some prisoners here. I'm going to actually grab a bunch of these guys. Let's torture them right off the bat. Now we can persuade to join... Uh, torture, propaganda, there we go, persuade to join, let's go with, um, torture, what about threaten, yep, that works, those guys are easy for the most part, the torture seems to be, um, oh, there we go, okay, we got it. Torture seems to be the best one. Sometimes it doesn't work like that time. And then the propaganda sometimes works really well. Threaten. So there's a little RNG to it. Okay. So they're all pretty much... Almost dead. They didn't heal up at all. Alright, let's see. I want to kind of heal up a little bit before we get into another battle. Um, Alright, so we got two more points. Let's uh, throw those in there. Get our intelligence up. You can see we got that last level really quickly. And uh, we're on our way to level 13 almost. So, pretty decent. And we got instructor... Let's do, we got three points. Let's do one in each. There we go. And then we'll hit max those out and then we'll throw the rest in trading. But uh, we're definitely going to max everything out because we went really high in intelligence. So, or we'll get really close to maxing everything out. We'll see. I think you still get one point, right? When you... Even if you don't assign an intelligence. Yeah. I think that's how it works. Same with Mountain Blade. Pretty much. Still get one point. So we'll max these out. And uh, yeah. We'll be ultimate badass. And then I think we'll do more leadership so we can get a bigger crew. Maybe one or two more points in there. Um, and then I'm going to throw a bunch into marksmanship. So I can just get have those laser shots that I'm wanting. Um, and we'll keep on progressing. Looks like the troops are eating the fish.
Leaving all the food cans. I like that fish. All right. Let's head back and drop some troops off at Sencha. Let's uh, make sure to save. So the idea is, yeah, so if the patch comes out tomorrow, you guys will have two episodes tomorrow, possibly even three, because as soon as it comes out, um, I will, if I'm not working or anything, I will try to record and upload to YouTube like ASAP. Um, so potentially could have three episodes if the patch comes out tomorrow. If it comes out on um friday which is what i think i think it's going to come out friday at the later in the day i'll probably have one each morning and then as soon as the update happens so that's kind of what we're looking at but we'll get a little extra one just in case we're going to collect the tax because we always forget to do that garrison i'm going to dump in is it echo Do I want to put Echo? Yeah, let's put Echo in there for now. Uh, Actually, let me put one more dude in there. Not inventory, we want party. Um, I wonder if they heal. Oops. Echo. All right. I feel a little bit better that we have a little bit more of a garrison. I'd like to get one, at least one more group that puts us at 27 troops in there. A little bit more respectable. So we got Alpha, Bravo, Delta, Tango, Echo, Charlie. What's next? Zulu? All right, let's go. And we're just basically putting all the guys that we, um, you know, captured. All our prisoners are basically defending the town that we took from them. So kind of funny there, but they're loyal to us now, so no worries. All right, let's add a new squad. Rename. Zulu. Okay, we'll uh, get more as we go, build this out, dump them in there, and then we'll try to take another town. So that's kind of what my plan is. Actually, let's save now that I got them in there. And thinking we can go take that. I mean, not quite yet. One more squad in there, 27, and then we'll go work on that. So let's see, are these guys following us? Sometimes they do attack you, so you gotta be aware of that. All right, let's go take these guys real quick. I'll we'll probably take the bandits. We'll probably get rid of the bandits if we can. I know in one of the other patches, one of the earlier patches, I took out the bandit city and then the bandits stopped spawning, so that was kind of cool. Oh, I got up. I forgot to put a little picture in for that. But that's okay. Actually, let's not deploy these guys. Or let's leave them. Uh, let's leave these guys back cuz they were injured if I remember correctly. Snipers are going to go right up there. Actually, the snipers are going to follow me. These guys are going to go right up. Actually, let's give them two waypoints. Okay. Deploy all. Got another uh, stormy day. 
We're always pointed the wrong direction. There we go. We want this way. It's funny, like the first like what eight or nine episodes we had all sunny battles, clear skies. Now it's just crappy weather. Speaking of good weather, we had good weather the last couple days. I managed to actually get some yard work done. It's pretty amazing. Not that I look forward to yard work. I actually hate yard work with a passion, but I needed to get it done. It was that time of spring, and I had still hadn't mowed the lawn. I had to spread the uh, Scott's Turf Builder. Get all that done. I pulled a lot of weeds. I still got probably Saturday and Sunday a bunch of time to put into it, so it's not completely done. But I, I did manage to get a little dent put in. I do have a pretty sizable yard. And I wish that, because when I first bought the house, I was like, oh yeah, we need a, a decent, a decent sized lawn, you know? I don't want to be like high-fiving my neighbors out my master bathroom window. But now, having lived here for, I think this will be seven years, now I kind of wish I bought a house, you know, all those newer homes where they have like, they just pack them in as tight as they can. And um, you can, I mean, they're so close together and they have like no lawn. I kind of almost wish I did that because like in the summertime, it's going to be like eight or 10 hours a day to maintain what we have or not a day, sorry, a week. It takes about two hours to mow the lawn and then pulling weeds and what? Oh, I was like, I didn't even see you Dude, that's what happens sometimes you roll maybe the knife would have come in handy there I could have charged him but we have a ton of armor is that a foot sticking out that's a foot I feel like that guy from uh, Saving Private Ryan, the sergeant, I can't remember his name. And he just kind of stood in battles and didn't care and there's bullets whizzing around his head and he just never seemed to get shot. That's like kind of like me, I kind of just stand in the middle of the battlefield. Kind of like casually playing this game, oh here they are. They're about to get dropped. Let's get someone maybe a little bit closer. The bullets are not consistent, are they? There we go. That's three hits. There we go. Three left. Oh, here's one of them right here. There we go. The little RNG on the bullets. Sometimes they hit, sometimes they don't. Try to dunk them in there for those headshots. The we're in business boys guy. I don't think I ever say that. All right, let's head over here. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I guess we were talking about that. <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yep. I think that's the guy. He's the sergeant. He's like the, you know, the one right under um, the captain, uh, Tom Hanks's character. And he throws he throws the gun. He literally like runs out of bullets in his sidearm and throws his gun and throws his helmet at the guy at the end. That guy. He's just always running around. Yeah, he's he played he also played like the mob boss in um God, what was that other movie? State of the um, State of the Enemy Enemy of the State? The one with Will Smith and um Oh gosh. But yeah, he was like the guy in the restaurant. That wanted the tape, but yeah, that guy, that guy is kind of a badass in that. <laughs> He's just always just run, running around, bullets whizzing around his head, just standing in the middle of the fight. You're like, what? That's me. That's me in this game, essentially. Just kind of. Oh, there are a lot of troops here all of a sudden. Did we lose anyone? We didn't lose anyone, did we? This is my refill squad. Um, uh, and they all leveled up. So let's go. Um, here we go. Change your camo pants to blue pants. All right. And you guys are going to go into bandits. Perfect. All right. And those guys will stay those guys. This guy leveled up. To a marine, perfect. All right, and did Anna level up? I'm kind of curious to see what happens. Oh, junior, she was a junior lieutenant, and it was thirty-eight thousand. So I think maybe she's maxed out now. That's probably that's probably about right. Is there anyone that's super injured that we need to take out of battle? No. Oh, let's change this. It's kind of bugging me here. Change squad icon. These are more marauder. They're gonna turn into these guys. So I guess we'll put another one into that. Okay. Tons of uh, sieges going on. Sixteen grand a day, holy cow! Yeah, mine's about five thousand, and I was like complaining about that. Let's go sell. What do you think you're gonna siege this? No, you're not gonna siege this. All right, trade. All right, we're gonna sell that, get rid of that. Don't need these pants. Here. All right, I think we're a good. And then they have enough money too. Perfect. All right. We got enough food for a while. Let's uh, replenish our ammo. All right. And this scope's still pretty sure that one doesn't work still. We tried that a couple times. We'll see if this new patch that comes out tomorrow or the next day fixes that. Please, Siege, please. Yes. All right, actually, let's let's uh, save. 
Just in case. Defend. Alright, here's a base defense. Yeah, there's a new update. A new update coming out either tomorrow or Friday, but the devs did say they want it ready for the weekend. So, pretty excited about that. I wonder if they fixed the bug that... Oh, we can't have all these guys in there. That's fine. There's only 15 of them. Yeah, so... Um... If you go on the Steam page, there should be a YouTube video that you can watch, but I already talked about it earlier in the stream there, but um, there's that YouTube video that you can watch, and basically the, the, the gist of it was, um, let's move uh, these guys over here. Where are my snipers? That's Delta. Put you behind this house. These guys I don't really care about. But yeah, the gist of it was... Um, if I can talk here and do this at the same time. Close. Was, uh, you can have two primaries, no launcher anymore. So you can have like a sniper rifle and a assault rifle or whatever combo that you want. And... Um, what was the other thing? Uh, oh, melee weapons. Melee weapons. Those were confirmed. And then I did see like proficiencies, like Mountain Blade style proficiencies. But I don't know if that's going to be in this patch. Those are the things I did see. Alright, we're just going to wait for him to come, I suppose. You guys are all facing the wrong direction. So hopefully they fix the scopes and some of the other stuff, but yeah. It's so basically what they kind of do is they release a big... Oh, what are those black lines in the scope? Oh. Got a bug. Let me get in on some of this action. You guys literally killed everything before I could even get there. What? Yeah, I think they'll add that feature um, at some point, right? The ability to um, mod the game at a, a, like a workshop. Where the heck are these dudes? Oh, there they are. Like a workshop. Um, that would just add the longevity to the game, right? So, you had a Steam Workshop, and people were creating mods and all this stuff. Mountain Blades, that's the greatest thing about Mountain Blade, is the Workshop. It's like one of the most modded games that I know of. And that's what adds to the uh, longevity. See, I'm definitely that guy that walks right in. Wait, where where am I getting shot from? Hold on. Where the heck am I getting shot from? I saw those two dudes. This guy, he got a headshot and he's still, there we go.
Oh, we got two of these guys too. Perfect. We need that. Oh, there's there what? There's two left. Oh, they still didn't fix the garrison bug though. When you uh, <laughs> when you leave it puts your two squads back in your thing. All right, let's go sell, and then I guess we'll. Oh, there's no option to defend. Someone is going to, if they do, I guarantee you, if they make this on the Steam um, Workshop and make it moddable, someone is going to make a Mountain Blade mod. Guarantee. Bring, like, swords and horses and guarantee that's going to happen. Which could be interesting. If they make this game easy to mod, it looks like I can't get this guy. He's too... There's no defend option either. Let me, uh... Barracks. I don't want armed civilians. No, I'm good with that. Oh yeah, there'll be some total conversion mods. Absolutely. All right, I think I'm done for the night, actually. It is almost 1 o'clock. I'm streaming all, an extra half an hour more than I normally would. But, uh, hey, Grumpy Dave, man, you got to check out... All my um, episodes are on YouTube, so definitely check that out. Same name, Twitch Trump. Twitch Space Trump. But, uh, hey, thanks for coming in and chatting up. And uh, I'll definitely be streaming the next couple days, so... Between this and Kenshi and some of the other games I play, uh, I have a lot of content. So, but, uh, but yeah, you think you saw them? <laughs> All right, man. Well, hey, thanks for the follow, dude. Appreciate it. Now you're gonna be on the next episode. All right. Well, hey guys, if you're watching on YouTube. Thank you uh, for tuning in, watching. Oh, I'm letting the time pass here. Let those wages are gonna come quick. But uh, if you're watching on YouTube, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for uh, chatting in the uh, the comments there. Definitely leave your feedback. Always like that. And if you like these videos, definitely uh, upvote. If you don't like them, definitely downvote. But uh, either way, we'll see ya. All right, you guys have a good one. All right, Grumpy Dave, you have a good one too, man. Thanks for uh, coming in and chatting. All right, later.